Hey guys, welcome back. It's Cackling Cat. And today we are playing the armoire. I married him three weeks after my 17th birthday. He was the best match I could possibly make. Him being rich and decently fine of figure. Oh, oh, oh okay. I like the stylings. I like Victorian style. Holy crap it! Stop it, phone! Stop it! Ah, being attacked. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, it's terrifying. Better turn. The wires are vibrate. Okay, sorry guys. It's terrifying. Although we are but newlyweds, I do think I have found love. Few of my acquaintances are so blessed to have a husband such as dear Richard. Okay. Some sewing stuff over here. Yeah. Not but yesterday, Richard told me that I have the finest stitch he has ever seen. How to hide my blushes behind a thimble? How? How indeed? He keeps this armoire locked, though it is in my quarters. He begs me not to think on it, but I confess that I have spent many a night wondering as I fell asleep. Yeah, I'd be like super suspicious. <laughs> like, why? Why do you need to have this locked uh, armoire in my room that I, you won't tell me what's in there and you won't give me the key. That's super creepy, dude. I don't know. I don't know. Keep a knife in the, in, under my pillow. It's pouring rain outside. Okay. Let's go left. When in doubt, go left because it's the only way we can. <laughs> yes. Uh, oh. Perhaps as Richard sleeps, I might search for the armoire key. No harm may come from a bit of curiosity. Ah, well, you know what they say about the cat and curiosity. But you're not a cat. So, yeah. Reading is the keenest pleasure I have known, and my husband's library affords me many books. It's cool, I agree. Perhaps I can use this to lighten the room a bit. I quite enjoy reading, too. I do. I do. Bonk. Yay! We lit some candles! Aren't we just the fanciest, nanciest pants ever? My lord keeps a large and drafty estate. Many of the rooms are locked during the winter months, but I have not been here long enough to see the spring. How bright and grand the house shall be, so the baba jababa shall seem. Shababa da da. That's what. That's what it will seem like. Shababa ba. <laughs> Shabam. Sorry. Richard spoke of the armoire again yesterday, as I took tea with him. To what purpose does he tease me so? heard a weird farty noise. It was odd. I, I, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> I was so happy the day my husband commissioned this painting to remember you at your best, he said. Um, so, okay, so your best is only when you're young. And once you're old, he's like, ah, it's your worst now. Oh, well, hello. Hello there. These old houses are strange. Shall I go through the passage? I will share my adventures with Richard in the morning. Well, I had to read that fast. What a beautiful chandelier. Perhaps I should light it while it's on the ground. Well, that would explain why many houses burnt down in Victorian era. You know, they were like, ha! <laughs> Candles on the ground? It completely makes sense. Oh, okay. A magic ghost lifts it up there for us. Um. There blood on that rope? That looks like blood. I can't. It won't let me look at it, but it looks like blood to me. It's missing keys. Okay, well, then. I Oh, okay. It's okay. Okay. That's, that's okay. Oh, 
harp? I always thought we need to learn how to play a harp. I don't know why. I just do one of those weird things. Maybe because they're so pretty. How odd! This is the same perfume that my husband gave me just a month past. Just this month past. Grandfather clock. The most awesome of the clocks. What's this? Dearest, dearest mama, our little boy died last night. Oh my God. Uh, what? What? Why, how, why are you addressing the letter dearest mama? And then, that's horrible. Our dearest little boy died last night. I admit that I can hardly believe it. With every moment, I expect him to come bursting into the room, demanding his nightly lullaby. Richard has not taken the death well. He has never been a good man, but he loved Teddy. I fear what he will do now that our baby is gone. He has taken in making me play Teddy's lullaby over and over. This music soothes him, but it does not soothe me. I am so melancholy. Melancholy is such a weird word. It really is. It's, I can't remember the exact definition, but it's like depressed, basically. It's basically what it is. I like the Victorians had some crazy definitions for things, but oh, if you guys like this kind of art styling, you should look up Edgar Gorey. He has some awesome artwork and most of it is based in Victoria era and it's all um, ink, pen and ink. Yeah, he's awesome. He's one of my favorite artists. Anyway, back to the game. A piano key and a bed. I think I'd be a little more concerned about the note and the bed. I think those would be things that would concern me. Oh, okay. No. I do like grandfather clocks. I like clocks a lot. I like clocks a lot. I, I'm a weirdo. I don't know. I like gears and clocks and shiny things. What can I say? Oh, <laughs> that's not creepy. I think I heard a door open. Hello? Hello? Any ghosts here? Yeah? Yeah? I like this game so far, though. Oh! It just got. Oh my goodness! Oh! Someone scratched all his little baby face! That man is my husband, but that woman is not me. That child is not mine. Does he not love me as he did them? Well, I mean, I, I don't know why you'd come up to that conclusion. I think I'd be a little concerned the fact that he had another family before me and no one told me. I think I'd be like, hmm, him, <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Where are they now? I have dreamed of the day I might hear my own child laughing through the halls of this house. My husband claims he cannot produce an heir, but I wonder now if that was foolishhood. Oh, maybe it's true, though. Maybe that's why the boy died. I mean, you'll find out soon. There wasn't really much birth control back then. So. Oh, bloody, si bloody scissors, yeah. A pair of scissors. There's something on them. What on earth? It's blood. It be blood. Oh, there's a crypt. I cannot get past these broken armor. Oh, it's an armor. Broken armor. Are we, like, inside the armor? Can I take the keys? No? Oh, okay. Wow. Now we need to go back. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Can't go over here. There's footprints. Footprints of foot. What is strange servants called? Something. Hello? Uh, uh, what? Okay, that was weird. I cannot presume to know this woman, but I, I see myself in her fine stitch. Who was she to Richard? This cannot be another wife. It can be. In fact, it probably is, and you should have already figured this out. However, you should be very concerned that no one told you. No one. Does he have no family? 
A fine garment, to be sure. Cast off in haste. Whether in a happy pas passion or in anger, I cannot say. I wonder if I know the man who owns this house enough to ever be sure. Yeah, I'd be a little bit pissed off right now. I, I won't lie. I'd be like, uh, yeah, it wouldn't be a good thing. I'd be like, who the stinking heck is this woman? Granted, she came before me, but still. Oh, car alarm going off. Sorry if you guys can hear that. Someone's testing their alarm. Another woman with my husband. To speak it true, I do not know that I can claim Richard as my husband any longer when I see how little he has told me of this. Yeah, yeah, okay. I mean, I would be pretty upset. It would be kind of like, okay, so if something happened to your, your previous family, it's sad, but... Maybe you should share it with your future wife. But back then, they didn't really women were property more than anything, so you know. Today, I have seen Peter again. Truly, to be with a man that views me as his equal is the dearest pleasure I have known. Richard has been odd, but I do not think he suspects. He would never begin to think his wife might da dally with a servant, and yet, Richard claims that he has dismissed dear Peter. As lady of the house, I should and must write him a good recommendation. But Richard says that Peter will not need a letter and that I am no lady. Ooh, that, that he knows. He has locked me in my quarters, the brute. I will not stand for this when he returns. Well, guess you shouldn't have been snaking around. It's kind of messed up. Not saying he should lock you in your room, but you know, you, you probably shouldn't have been screwing around with the servants. Hmm. Hmm. Ooh. Okay. I, yeah. Ah! Something fell out. Darling, meet me in the passageway at 11.30. Remember, it's nine on the clock. So, okay, so nine on the clock. The clock is missing an hour hand. Is that this? The giant clock hour. This clock tin must have been stuck in the corset. Okay. Okay. Um, that's a giant one. I don't know if it goes to this, but... It does! Okay. There. Now it should be in working order. Now it should be in working order. Not me. I'm, I'm obviously in working order, of course. Okay. So. Twelve. Was that a door opening? Dun, oh, dun dun dun. Gets creepier and creepier. Uh, hello? Hmm. I mean, I would assume as long as you don't find anything and or cheat on him, you'll be fine, but uh... find her. Okay, well, I mean, I, I don't think she's alive anymore. I don't think that's the thing you have to worry about. And to be honest, if you find her in Richard's room, you are married to him as well. I would be a little upset. Well, not so much at her, but, at, you know, people. Dear Mr. Ingram, I write to inform you that your daughter, my wife, passed away last night. Kind words cannot soften this blow. I have interred her remains in the family mausoleum and taken care of the rest. Richard. Where you? My wife's passing. Right, your wife's passing. Okay, so yeah, he killed her. Yeah. Mr. Ingram is my father. Richard has informed my father of my death. A fact I know to be false. This cannot be born. Okay, so he's planning on killing you. Fantastic. Why? 
I mean, I understand the cheater, but what's what's up with this? She hasn't even done anything. She's all like just, just newly with. Oh, okay. A gun, a sword, and a bloody woman's dress. I have often hoped I might find what it what is in the locked armor in my own chambers, but I have learned too much about Richard tonight to hope for the something. Hope for the something. And here it is, a key that looks too much my armoire. Looks too much my armoire. I find that I do not wish to look, and yet I cannot go on living if I do not see inside. Well, we're going to go back and go check out what's going on over in the other area. A beautiful beast torn from its place and brought here to this narrow and pinched world. Oh, a bat! No! I like bats. My husband relishes the death of lesser animals. <sighs> and yet you married him because he was good looking and rich. I guess that's kind of what happens. Don't do your research. This is the kind of thing that happens. Husbands try to murder you. Oh, oh, can we we can go back more this way, listen. Nope, oh, okay. Why are you giving me the option then? Best thing can happen. I can't go that way anymore. Okay. So we'll just go the other way we're supposed to go. To confront our husband. But I think we should take the sword. Can I take the sword? I should see. I should see when I go over there. Probably can't. I have the key. Let's see. Will you let me take the sword? Can I? No. Okay. Fine. I know. Nah. Doesn't bode well at all. I think I'd. And now to finally see what's in the armoire this wretched man keeps locked from me. I think you should be concerned that he's gonna kill you. I think that's more of a concern. I think I would. Oh. And now to finally see what is in the armoire this wretched man keeps from me. Oh goodness. Here lie my curious wives. Oh, there's two of them. Okay. Richard is the devil, and so he shall meet the flames. He he felt the need to write that for you as well. Okay. La la la, you're gonna die. Oh no, we had a fire. Oh no. Oh no, I shall flee. Oh dear lord, I do not know what happened to my husband. Oh no. There must be a way out, but it's not in this direction. Uh. I don't. I will make my escape. Through the window? Okay. <laughs> like, good for you, girly! I love that animation. It's great. She's like, I'm bucking it! I'm out of here! You guys, crazy! And thus, her family inherited the fortune. The Armoire by Bethany Martin and Kylie Moses. Well, that's gonna be all for tonight. Don't forget to share and subscribe. And as always, don't forget to tickle that like button, cause ya know it wants it, no matter what it says.